Well, it started with a trip to Cambodia, and now two Regina women are committed to the fight against child sex trafficking. Terry Murphy and Crystal Redekop from Regina Victory Church are here. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you again. And uh, let's talk about this. Uh, there was a trip to Cambodia, and it broke the heart of your husband. Tell us about that. How did that? What happened? Yeah. Well, it's hard to tell it without getting choked up, but he was just outrageous. They crossed the border with um, some pastors and missionaries. They were immediately bombarded with people trying eagerly to sell them these little children. And uh, it, it was just an extremely moving experience for him. He came back and, and told the story to some Bible college students that he was teaching. And one of those uh, young students went over to commit their life to uh, doing something, working in a safe house in Siem Reap. Wow, that's amazing. Um, uh, this is an issue that, that affects people worldwide, like you say, in yeah. Cambodia, you know, yeah. but uh, what are the statistics behind this? Like, how big of an issue is this? Most people don't realize um, how huge sex trafficking really is. We have right now, at this time in history, uh, of all history, more slaves than at any other time. There are over 27 million, and that number is quite conservative, actually, that are held in slavery, the majority being held in sex slavery, and the majority being women and children. And uh, some of these children are um, as young as three who are either kidnapped, sold, or, or lured by false promises. and. Uh, and when they're brought in, they are often beaten, they're starved, they're even tortured, just horrible, horrific things that go on for these children. So they are forced to have sex with grown men. And um, it, it is appalling. I, you said 27 million? 27 million. Unbelievable. A conservative number. And, you know, I have children, I have a little girl, and I know that I would do anything to protect her. I know many of our viewers, I'm sure, would feel the same. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you know, these children are unprotected, and I really believe that in this blessed country, that's our job is to protect the unprotected. Now, you teamed up with uh, Not For Sale. Uh, there's a safe house in Cambodia, but how can people here in Saskatchewan help out? Well, we have a, a, a gala. We're raising funds to get behind the people that are actually uh, brave enough to go and do the on the on the ground work. So I think what we can do here is uh, support those that are doing that. And so we're having this fundraiser to do that. We had parents say that they give a hundred dollars to a fundraiser for soccer. So we can surely do something for these kids that have no one else to protect them. And there's a special guest speaker I understand too that yes. uh, has some powerful words. Maybe talk about him. Well, his name is Patrick Muir. He's actually from originally from England, but they're from. Saskatoon, and uh, he was the Bible college student that heard my husband speaking about Cambodia, went over, has been working for the last couple of years in Sam Reap, in that safe house, and he's home on furlough, so he's going to come and share what's going on there. Well, I yeah. wish you all the best. Again, uh, all this happening tomorrow at 6 o'clock right at Regina Victory Church. Uh, go out and support it. It's a great cause. Thank you so much, ladies, Thank for being you. here. Thank you so much. Cheers.